Little girl. Little girl, you in there? Cause we've been working on this well over a month. So What's up, Rats Babes? It's your girl Joy back with another banger. I'm just getting to work. I'm unpacking my bag and putting my stuff away. So baby, I got a few things to do. I have duty today and it's been, it's Tuesday, so I'll try to get this up for you today, but you know how it goes. Hold on a second, got my bag. Big boom, bop. <laughs> so, I need to turn off all my lights, as usual. And, hunty, let me tell you, <laughs> Chucky will be getting an outfit change for St. Patty's Day. So, you know, we, we can't, we can't leave Chuck like that. We can't, we can't, we can't, we gotta, we gotta change him up. Listen, 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 calm down, calm down, listen. So, the cleaning lady, she's like a mom, right? And she was like, uh-uh, uh-uh, no, Mina, Mina, you need to get rid of that doll. No, 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 you need to get rid of that, mm-mm, mm don't like, me don't like, right? So I'm like, no, Chucky is a master. I, I tried to dress him, tone him down a little bit with the glasses, and the hat, and blah, 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 blah. So no, Mina, Mina, this is when Chucky first got to the school. You know, it kind of threw people for a loop, so I had to tone Chuck down. Like, Chuck, you need to behave, because, you know, some people, like, got a bad vibe about you, you know, based on you, <laughs> child's play and pretend, you know, so that they don't understand that you, you know, you're a toy, a dog, whatever, right? So they think Chucky's gonna be coming to life and doing stuff in school. But you know, Chucky's, Chucky's a good baby, right? So listen, 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 so clean. No, 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 I don't like that. And you need to put that away. You Real talk, no cap, <laughs> as the kids say. So guess who has something to say to me um, last week? It was last week. So Chucky's been here about a good month month and a half maybe two i don't know the days just flow on top of the other when you're a teacher you're like "Ooh, is it friday I'm like no boo it's monday you just got here you gotta wait several more days before friday anyway listen 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 so i see her in the hallway oh my pen. i knew i should have put a belt on you know i'm built like a tree trunk so nothing stays up on me because i don't have any hips right so i'm just gonna have to tie this shirt around my waist tighter but no then it's not around the pants I I knew I should have put on a belt. So anyway, she says, you know, Easter, Easter is coming. Chucky, Chucky needs a new outfit. If I see the outfit at the at the 99 cent store, sometimes they have a little outfit. I said, so you, <sighs> so you want to get your grandbaby an Easter outfit? Chucky got a grandma, a grandma, 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 baby. So Chucky, Chucky grown on everybody. The class won't be the same without Chucky. Chuck, 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 Chuck got a grandma. Chuck, 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 Chuck got a grandma. She want to change his outfit. That's what I'm talking about. You just, you just got to roll with it sometime, okay? Look, Chucky doing things up in here, so let's change Chucky's outfits. I got some other tea for y'all. So just hold on. Let me, let me change this baby's outfit, okay?
Tell me the truth. Leave it in the comment section below. Is Chuck Chuck grown on your Chuck Chuck? 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 Hey, QQ. He got his big pencil and his big eraser. Got a whole song. So I had to move the picture frame so we could show off his lucky shirt. <laughs> It's supposed to be a rainy day today and cold and I have duty today. I didn't play dress up today, so this is what I'm wearing. It is what it is. This is how I was feeling <sighs> because I knew it was going to be cold and rainy and I knew I had to stand outside. This is how Clinton, this is how my son Clinton used to dance when he was a baby, right? Let me put the hair back. And this is how he used to dance. He was probably like two, one and a half, two. He would be getting it, y'all. He did not play. Let me show you, let me show you. That was his move. That was his signature joint. So listen, 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 listen. Oh, let me go back a minute. I was in my feelings. And I'm quite sure you would agree. I'm trying to figure out a way how I can say this on the taking and talk. But I was in my feelings. It's like many teachers try so hard. And I don't only want to complain. But it is what it is. Many teachers, we try so hard. And we try the partnerships with the parents. And so we're in the writing phase of English and they're writing literary analysis. Yes, you got to write a literary analysis. You need to know how to do that. I'm not sure what you do in eighth grade here, but you should be writing literary analysis in eighth grade and you're going to be writing them in high school. So we start in the ground off running with informational text, how to analyze a text and blah, 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 and have your evidence and justify it and explain it, blah, blah. I just don't know how to teach you got to think deeper. You have to really look for an avenue where you really analyzed it and came up with some good instead of just the surface level stuff. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't know how to teach that. Honestly, I don't. How do I teach you? This? I don't. So I think the majority of the kids, they're missing that component. They just want to say surface level. Out of 140 students, I may have three that that are gifted in writing literally gifted i mean these kids are creative and they look at words as art and they don't mind me honing and improving their skills so i i really enjoy reading their pieces and out of 140 is about three i have three gifted writers i mean like gifted gifted um there's a talent there and i've been you know working with them on their talent but the majority, I don't think they're interested. You see what I'm saying? Uh, anyway, so their final exam before spring break, you have to write a literary analysis. And I want them to practice. Oh, is this a grade? They're so quick to say, is this a grade? Is this a grade? Is that a grade? No, it's not. And so what happens, majority of the kids didn't do it. So before the weekend, I said, you got to write this literary analysis so we have practice. No, practice makes improvement because nobody's perfect. That's my thing here. Nobody's perfect. Practice makes improvement. And just like an athlete, if you're not practicing, how are you going to get better? If you're not putting up those shots and you're not working on your dribble nonstop, nonstop, or a lot, how are you going to get better? If you're not writing and writing and writing, how are you going to get better? So therefore, it's going to stay surface level. How are you going to learn to do more analytical thinking and writing if you're not practicing? That's the key. Practice makes improvement. And if you're not practicing, you're going to stay right here. So I'm like, dude, you got to practice this literary analysis, you know, over the weekend. I'll read it. I'll use my time and I'll read them. Yeah. So I would say out of 140 students, I had about eight students who submitted theirs. Eight out of 140. But the kicker is, preaching it to the kids. I sent an email to the parents. 
in order to prepare your child for their final exam, which is 60% of their grade, they should write this literary analysis and practice. I'm in my feelings when I come in on Monday because help me help you prepare for this test. So it's like, it's like I don't have anyone on my side. I, you know, I reached out to the parents and the email went to the students too. So I reached out and it's like, where's my help? Where's my partner? Where's my partnership? I don't have any. So therefore, I'm supposed to part the Red Sea and turn water into wine? What am I supposed to do? So my tolerance level, I'm sorry, was very, very zero. What you talking for? So they came in, they had to write. Another, I'm not going back to, to the literary analysis you should have wrote. So the eight people, I read theirs, I gave them feedback. Boom. I gave them their feedback. And the, so we're writing another literary. We got to write the whole thing. Yes, we're not even writing a conclusion. Just the intro and the one body paragraph. It's about 12 sentences. Who can't write 12 sentences in 45, 50 minutes? Who can't do that? So I had one little boy. Oh, I don't care what anyone said. That boy on the spectrum. And he wrote his. I couldn't read it. So he had to read it. He had to read it to me. He wrote his. He he's a fast reader. Fast, fast reader. He wrote his whole literary analysis in about he including reading the little story. 15 minutes. 15 minutes. And he read it to me and we I made suggestions and his thinking he put it in there I couldn't read none of it that's why these kids got to type their stuff and submit it for the final and submitted it so you say someone who has challenges can write it in 15 read it and write it in 15 minutes and y'all the majority of you can't do it in 45 50 minutes and every sentence has a purpose every every sentence so it's like you really don't even have to think about it if you follow the formula you read the story you follow the formula you don't even got to think about it so so and then i'm trying to help these babies really do well on the summer 60 percent of the grade don't you think my my focus would be on trying to get this knowledge before we have this uh, final exam coming up before spring break. That's sixty percent of my grade, and if you fail this, you failed the class. Would you be listening? Would you be tuned in? Would you be sitting like this? Would you mind if the teacher called you to go over what you've written so far? I'll be waiting in line like a soldier. Mm -mm, I want to know if my stuff right. Miss Bass, you got time to see me? That's what I would do. But you know, yeah, I, I, I guess I shouldn't compare. So in my mind, I'm thinking you want to, you didn't do the literary analysis over the weekend because you didn't have no time. Of course, you, your life is busy. I'm not going over the one I sent over the weekend because you, you didn't care to do it. So we're moving on to the next one. So you still got one more chance to work on the literary analysis. Some kids couldn't even get past three sentences in 50 minutes. Three. And the first sentence of the literary analysis is the easiest one. It's called a tag. You put it in one sentence. The title, the author, and the genre. Short story fiction. That's genre. You can't put that in what? I don't know what to write. The, the formula's right there. We've been working on this for how long? How long we've been working on this? Little girl. Little girl, you in there? Because we've been working on this well over a month. So you, at a certain point, you got to warn it. But it's always the teacher's fault. It's always our fault. Oh, oh, you, you didn't teach you well. Oh, oh, well, what about that student? Why is it me? Why isn't it student? Where is the accountability? But it's always our fault. Mm. So anyway, listen, listen, listen. So I'm walking around the room. You all right? You good? And I asked students, I said, uh, I don't know. Uh, shabba -dabba -da. I, I don't want to call no names. Yeah, shabba -dabba -da. You all right? She looked at me like I'm crazy, like I'm calling her out. I just looked around, she was right, and I'm like, you all right, you need any help? She was like, no. Okay. Two boys sitting together, and they look at me, y'all good? You need any help? You know what you doing? No, we good, we all right. Okay, walk around. I come around, and this is what I see. I think I lost, 
I lo I threw gang sign, not real gang sign, but let me show this what I see. At that moment, I think my soul left my body. The final exam is tomorrow. Today's Tuesday. They could work on a final exam starting tomorrow. Obviously, this person, they don't want it at all. This person, of course, didn't do the literary analysis over the weekend. Of course not. Of, of course not. Now you come to class and you're still on your phone when you shouldn't be, when you should be working on your practice literary analysis. I had no other words. I was like, go outside. Go in the hallway. Go in the hallway right now. Class. In addition, they are a disruption to the class. They come to school to play. I, I, I just, I, 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 I couldn't put it into words. And usually, I like the student. I really do. Loved him like a son. But I had stressed how important this was to your grade for the year. And we only got nine more weeks after spring break. And you sit here on your phone when you should be getting this knowledge and this practice to prepare you for a grade, one grade, that's 60% of your grade. Baby, I, I had no words. I had no words. My tolerance was zero because we don't have time to play. It's time to prepare. It's time to practice. It's time to write. It's unlike any other lesson because we're writing, you have to practice it. It's not like you could go home and study what a compound complex sentence is, what a compound, what a fan by coordinating conjunction. It's not like you could go home and study that. No, you have to practice the skill. You have to make sure you, you, you know how to write a literary analysis. I had, no, I had nothing, I had nothing, nothing, nothing. Today, I will have nothing, nothing. Business, it's, it, we're business. Th th this is your grade for the year. And you know what's crazy? That they won't get their grades until after spring break. So I'm like, no, they need these final grades before spring break. So you can rethink your spring break. So you can be, anyway, like I said, I didn't have partnership with 95% of the parents. It, it, obviously, how much more can the teachers do when it's just one-sided? Literally, but we get blamed for everything. The other subject, I'm gonna have to talk to y'all in the closet when I get home. And you know, when I get to the closet, I got I got the tea or oh, it's something. Let me go put these cones out. And I'm a little hot now. I hope it's not raining yet. But then again, it doesn't matter because I got rain coat, rain hat, rain boots, and rain pants. I'm ready for the day. But, hunty, I am not going to let them ruin my day today. But I'm not playing. I'm not playing. I am not playing. Let me go put these cones out. Bye, y'all. Just bye. Oh, my God. Look, y'all. Sorry. These pants, they're not staying up. I need like an emergency belt. This is terrible. I knew I should have put on a belt.